Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today we are going to explore uh, the geometric transformation command that we use to orient the sections of beams and columns in frames. This is very important especially in uh, three-dimensional frames. Recently few students have asked us about uh, visualizing the sections of RC beam column elements in OpenSyspy. In this tutorial we will look in detail about uh, a special function called uh, plot extruded shapes 3D of uh, OpenSys visualization library OPSVis. We use this function to plot uh, the extruded sections of elements. Before we dive into today's tutorial, I want to take a moment to thank uh, all our subscribers. Your support really motivates us to consistently provide uh, valuable content in a timely manner. At present, 80% of our viewers have not uh, subscribed yet. If you like our content but have not uh, subscribed yet, I request you to please subscribe to our channel. It's a small action that goes a long way in encouraging us to create uh, more tutorials. Let's dive into today's tutorial. This is the Python code of uh, example 7 three-dimensional RC frame with uh, inelastic uh, reinforced concrete fiber section. This Python code I have written for uh, one of my previous videos, this one. So you can download the scripts by following the instructions mentioned in this comment. If you look at the original code, uh, this 3D RC frame is a three-story building frame. So you will get uh, three stories and uh, one bay along this direction and another bay along in this direction. Just for simplicity purposes, I have made this a uh, one-story RC frame. So I just removed these two stories and I just uh, kept only this uh, first story. So if you run this particular input file, you will get a frame like this. This is how you will see the extruded sections. We will look at in detail about how to specify the parameters of uh, geometric transformation command to get uh, appropriate orientations in the 3D RC frame. This is the command uh, we use for uh, plotting the extruded shapes. This command takes a few arguments. First one is the element shapes dictionary and followed by AZEL azimuth and elevation parameters these are uh, optional arguments so and this uh, figure width height figure boundaries and uh, axis so these details are uh, optional we just have to specify this ELE shapes dictionary so currently this uh, extruded shapes function is uh, available only for circular rectangular and uh, i section using this i section you can also specify the sections of uh, l and t sections as well and currently this is not available for fiber sections but we may not be able to see the actual fiber section means uh, we may not be able to see all fibers in its extruded format but we can able to see how it is actually oriented in a general rectangular section or any circular or uh, i type fiber sections this input file starts with uh, importing some necessary libraries and then we specify the model definitions like uh, no, we create nodes and we specify some boundary conditions and we create the actual RC sections, fiber sections and uh, we create uh, the elements. Up to here it's normal. So after that you have to specify this uh, element shapes dictionary so here i have initialized this uh, element shapes dictionary and this element shapes dictionary takes few arguments first one is the element tag followed by the shape of the section that we are trying to plot followed by its dimensions so here uh, this double one double one is the element tag this one and rect is the shape of the fiber section that we are trying to plot and b call one and uh, h call one are the width and uh, depths of the section so i have added uh, the shapes of all elements such as uh, columns beams and uh, girders so if you run this code you will get a plot like this here the column section is oriented like this and uh, the beam section is oriented like this and uh, and uh, the girder section is oriented like this let's look at uh, each members individually so just uh, to highlight uh, the beam sections I'm just making uh, the dimensions of columns and the girders as very small. So I'm just dividing the dimensions by 1000. This is the original transformations that we are giving. So we are giving a coordinate to the vector xg as 0, 0, 001 for column, 0, 0, 001 for beam and uh, 100 0, 0 for girder. If you look at our beams are oriented like this, it means our depth is perpendicular to this uh, girder and uh, our width is perpendicular to this column. For example, if I change the orientation in any other way, for example, this 101, it 
didn't change the orientation of the beam it still remains same let's try another one one zero if you do that the orientation changed now the depth is perpendicular to the column and uh, the width is perpendicular to the girder let's try another let's try one 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 if i do that now we have got an angular orientation so likewise you can visualize the orientations that you are specifying here in the three dimensional format like this yeah let's make it one for all of these things so i am trying to show all the sections like this yeah now if i activate it here it will show all the sections like this in which uh, so the sections of columns and girders are shaped correctly but uh, the beam section is oriented in other directions so let's reset it to initial configuration 001 so if i do that now the sections are oriented in its original shapes here i have added few incline members also just uh, i'm activating these two elements so for these sections i have created uh, an i section i'm trying to see whether we can see this i section or not i just gave some random number i'm just activating only this uh, on three triple two element so if i see it you can see an i section here an i section here for this i specified this uh, girder tag let's specify another tag for this so let's specify some tag number for id incline i'm just putting four as its transformation so i'm specifying this here here we will use it so if we do that this is the geometric transformation so that we are applying for this i type i section type girders let's change the orientation a little so let's try 101 so if you look at the section is still same if you look at now the section is angular if you look at this the section is horizontal means the depth axis is rotated about 90 degrees that's it that's how we see the extruded shapes of uh, column and uh, beam section orientations here for example if you run the code like this this is the default view that you see whenever it first show the plot window for example if you don't want to see this window because every time orientation into a given shape like this is difficult actually so for that we have to play with the values of azimuth and elevation for example if you want to fix this orientation so the azimuth value is minus 52 and the elevation value is triple 1 so you have to specify those values here minus 52 and uh, elevation is triple 1 if you run this code with this elevation values so you will get uh, this is the default orientation values so these azimuth and elevation values you will get uh, in the top right corner of this plot window that is um, 119 minus 58 roll is equals to 0 so but you need to uh, look at the first two elevation and azimuth you have to specify those as inputs in your extruded shape command so if you specify that you will see the orientation like this in every plot window that uh, opens up yeah that's it for this video tutorial see you in the next tutorial if you have any questions or suggestions we recommend you to please write them in the comment section below the video if you like our content please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel happy learning thank you